Hey guys, I had lots of feedback on my blown up mini split um, surge issue, the failure of the compressor for that and the other compressor for the uh, under the floor here for the ducted unit. Um, lots of people said I need surge suppressors, but little did they know I already have surge suppressors, but I know what my problem is. Um, oh, something else. I have a mini split in here too. I've been running that for about three or four years. That has a surge suppressor on it. So why did that one not blow, but the two in the house both blew? Well, I found out why. Let's go downstairs. Okay, there it is. It's glowing in blue. That's the surge suppressor. And what I failed to remember is I bought this, man, when I started YouTube about 16, 17 years ago and I was messing with solar. That's a solar surge suppressor. So it's good for DC, not AC. That was my problem. Had I had a decent surge suppressor for AC installed here, I would not have lost my units. But I may have lost one. Let's look at that. Okay, before we talk about that, I want to show you what I bought. I bought two of these Mars 83905 units. And I'm pretty sure these are nothing more than a few components along with a couple metal oxide varistors, which is like, a, it's almost like a resistor diode, right? So I don't think it has any resistive value, but it acts like an infinite resistance until the voltage gets over, let's call it, Oh, where is it at? 150 volts, I believe. So when it gets over 150 volts, it should ground, therefore popping the, the fuse, the, the breaker. And I got two of these, one for each unit. Now, back to why I would have lost one and not the other one, had I had the right surge suppressor, is based on my thought that if I have one and it's tied into your fuse box, how do I say this? Okay, so you got line one and line two. Basically, if I tied this guy to line one and line two, then my whole box is protected, right? But that's not how it works. It has to be connected to a breaker. So I had to connect one of these to one, breaker that's attached to one mini split and another to the other. And right now the one I showed you downstairs is connected to one mini split, but obviously it didn't work or did it because one mini split was not damaged as much as the other. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and connect these up and the diagram here shows tying both blacks into one line. That's for 110 volt setup. I need to tie one of these blacks to L1, one of these blacks to L2, and the ground to, let's figure, ground. Anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. I don't know when I'm going to get to this, but uh, here's the, uh, here it is right here. Maximum continuous over voltage is 150 volts. Um, that's from line to ground, so if one of the, if the voltage from line to ground goes over 150, it's going to short. If it goes line to line is 300, then it's going to short. Normally line to line is what, 220, 240, somewhere around there. And it looks uh, over 700 volts. It's going to blow up. All right. Thanks for watching.